Hi everyone, uh, myself Avuday Gadiparthi. In this video, you will actually understand so how to make the field mandatory in multiple ways. Okay. So in this video, you will actually learn how to make the field mandatory in multiple ways. Okay. So let me take one example. So I want to make the color field as mandatory. So I can make a color field mandatory in multiple ways. What exactly is the first way? The first way is actually directly navigating to the dictionary. So by right clicking on this color field, you will navigate to uh, configure dictionary. So if you click on configure dictionary, right, it will take you to this uh, dictionary. So color dictionary. So in this dictionary, you can check, you can check this checkbox. You can make the field mandatory. So this is actually one of the way to make the field mandatory. So at the dictionary level, you will make the field mandatory so that it will become mandatory on the form. So now if you refresh this form, you will be able to see the color as mandatory. So this is actually one of the way to make the field mandatory. So this is actually at a dictionary level. So you are making field mandatory at dictionary level. This is actually one way. So I will actually tell you the second way. Using UI policy, you can make this field mandatory. So using UI policy, you can make this field mandatory. So I have actually created a UI policy, so which will make color field as mandatory. So what I'm doing is I'm actually activating this uh, UI policy so that you guys can see how the field is getting mandatory using UI policy. So from the dictionary, you can make the field mandatory using UI policy. You can make the field mandatory. So these are the two ways. Now I am going to inactivate this UI policy here. Okay. So now I will actually explain how to make the field mandatory uh, in another way. So using data policy as well, you can make the field mandatory. Okay. So now let me just refresh this one. Now this is actually inactivate, right? So I am actually activating the data policy here. So using data policy also, you can make the field mandatory. Okay. So let me just refresh this one here. So now the color has become uh, mandatory from the data policy. This is actually the third way to make the field mandatory. So I am inactivating this one. So now I will actually explain the fourth way, how to make the field mandatory using fourth way. Okay. So, so far we have seen how to make the field mandatory using dictionary. At the dictionary level, you can make the field mandatory. Using UI policy, you can make the field mandatory. Using data policy, you can make the field mandatory. Using client script. So in the client script, you will actually write the scripting to make the field mandatory. So I will use a uh, glide form to make the field mandatory. So using G underscore form dot set mandatory, the color field name and the Boolean value as true. So this is actually fourth way to make the field mandatory guys. Okay. So there are actually four ways to make the field mandatory. So one is at the dictionary level. So now the color field has become mandatory. So one is at the dictionary level. So you, uh, on the dictionary, you will check the mandatory checkbox. This is actually one way. Second way is using UI policy, you can make the field mandatory. And uh, the third way is using data policy, you can make the field mandatory. And the fourth way is using client script, you can use scripting. So you can use script to make the field mandatory. That is actually G underscore form dot set mandatory. So here you will provide the field name that you want to make mandatory and you will pass the Boolean value here. So these are the four ways we use to make the field mandatory guys. Okay. So hope you understand uh, uh, how to make the uh, you know field mandatory in multiple ways. So thank you guys. Thank you very much uh, for um, you know uh, listening to this video. And um, so hope you like our videos. Please do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much guys.